Welcome to 10th of April's Godly Blessing. Now, whom would you call as somebody who is successful or who can overcome any situation in their life? That's what we're going to talk about today in this beautiful blessing where God Father says that may you become a number one victorious soul and fly in the flying stage by being a highest being who follows the highest codes of conduct. Now, codes of conduct, even the army has got codes of conduct or they have got codes of conduct in terms of discipline and if they don't have that you can understand the condition of the armed forces when it comes to training when it comes to leadership when it comes to duty when it comes to following orders down the line everything same thing goes for spirituality and in a life too so that's why god says the sign of someone being number one is that he wins over every situation he is not defeated by any situation, but is always victorious. If whilst moving along you are defeated, the reason for that is some fluctuation in your following the codes of conduct. That means somewhere down the line, we are not following exactly what we are supposed to do as per God's guidance. For example, if you are sleeping very late at night, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, like everybody else, then it becomes very difficult to get up in the morning at 4 o'clock and meditate. If you are eating food which is being cooked by people who are getting angry or who are feeling greedy, let's say in restaurants, and you're having that food in your and on a daily basis, let's say, because of your job and you're not able to cook, obviously that anger is going to get transferred into you through your blood, through your vibrations. And also, you're going to feel all those feelings which those souls who are cooking the food for you are feeling. That also has an effect on a daily vibration or energy levels. So, what do we do? Yes, we have solutions which are being taught at Brahma Kumaris. And there's certain codes of conduct of getting up early in the morning, reading the spiritual knowledge even before picking up a paper. Nowadays, people don't pick up paper, they straight away go to YouTube and find out the news. So instead of getting into the news, first imbibe the divine knowledge and then throughout the day, do a little bit of meditation every hour and as much as possible. And these are certain things which we, if we follow, then automatically our mind is fresh, our mind is clean and clear and we are able to make the right decisions and face any situation. Then God says, however, this conference age is the age to become the beings who follow the highest codes of conduct. This is the time to imbibe the knowledge and the guidance which God is giving to imbibe it in our life. It's now or never. Not men or women, but the age to become the beings who follow the highest code of conduct, but the highest being. It's not about man or woman, but it's about being the highest being as a soul. Constantly maintain this awareness and you will continue to fly in the flying stage and not come down. So how do you feel when you are following a little bit of discipline in your life, let's say when it comes to your physical body, you're exercising, let's say you're eating on time, let's say you're sleeping on time, how does your feeling make you feel or how does your day come out to be? Brilliant, spectacular, smooth, isn't it? And that's what God says when you follow these codes of conduct, your life becomes smooth, your life becomes completely clean and clear without any obstacles and even if obstacles come or situations come you're able to face them easily and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis how do we make a life so simple and easier you too can come and learn this beautiful art at the center itself of Brahma Kumaris called the spiritual university Om Shanti with this